I'm interrupting this video to bring you an important public service announcement to raise your awareness about strokes. I'd like to share a personal story because I think it really brings home this message. My in-laws, who lived in another state, were preparing to come visit us the next day. It just happened that my sister-in-law happened to visit them that evening and she called me a bit later to say that her mother was experiencing numbness on the left side. But she didn't want to say anything because she didn't want to disrupt the plans for the trip. I said, no, she needs to go to the hospital right away because that is a sign of a stroke. They did indeed take her to the hospital and she got the appropriate monitoring. It turned out it was a TIA, trans ischemic attack or mini stroke, and she got on the appropriate medications and she's doing fine to this day. She's now 89 years old. And I share this message because it really brought home to me how easily this could happen to any of us, especially if you had the symptoms for just a matter of minutes or hours, it would be human nature to want to dismiss it as nothing important. However, about a third of people who have TIAs will go on to have full-blown strokes. And if you have a stroke, time is of the essence. If you are with anybody who is exhibiting any of the signs of a stroke, it's important to get them to the hospital immediately. They may not be thinking clearly, so it's up to you. Do you know what the signs of a stroke are? The signs of a stroke include sudden numbness or weakness of face, arm, or leg, especially on one side, sudden trouble seeing in one or both eyes, sudden confusion, trouble speaking or understanding, sudden trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance or coordination, sudden severe headache with no known cause. A stroke is a brain attack in which blood flow and oxygen to the brain are cut off. The most common type of stroke is when an artery to the brain is blocked. Two million brain cells die every minute during a stroke, so the speed in which you can get help and begin treatment is critical. For example, there are new clot-busting medications that may really make a difference in your recovery depending on the type of stroke you have, but ideally, these medications must be started within three hours from the time of the first symptom. This Act Fast is an easy way to remember how to check if you are confronted with someone who might be having a stroke. F, the face. Ask the person to smile. Does one side of the face drop? A, arms. Ask the person to raise both arms. Does one arm drift downwards? S. Speech. Ask the person to repeat a simple sentence. Are the words slurred? Can he or she repeat the same sentence correctly? T. Time. If the answer is yes to any of these questions, time is important. Call 911 or get to the hospital fast brain cells are dying. More than six million stroke survivors are alive today in the United States, but it is still the third leading cause of death. Better yet, keep in mind that up to 80% of strokes are preventable by making the kinds of healthy choices we've talked about in this video. Enter In Case of Emergency or ICE on your cell phone with the phone number of the person you want contacted in an emergency. This person will most likely be your next of kin. Be sure to tell this person so they are ready and able to confirm your date of birth, your name, and your address. If possible, it is also helpful if they can share information such as your relevant medical history, allergies, and blood type to expedite your care. By making this contact early, hopefully this person could then also meet you at the hospital if needed.